Damon Horridge was a YouTube sensation and a basketball phenom. So, what happened to this guy? And today, I'm just here to explain to y'all his story. Five, six, and even seven years ago, YouTube was not that big back then. However, this kid was all over it. And as he was growing up, he was the number one ranked player at multiple times and people were even comparing him to John Wall. What's up guys, if you're interested in cool sneakers, go check out Ray Paint Shoes channel. He does custom shoes and will be giving away a free pair when he hits 5,000 subscribers. He recently just did a video for Fly React, so you guys go swing over there to his channel and check it out and let him know I sent you. Alright, now back with the video. 12. This was the age when Damon Harge was already being looked at as the next Hoops phenom. At just the age of 12, he was regarded as the number one 6th grader in the country. And about that, he said, it's pretty cool, I guess. I don't really pay attention to those things. I just play ball. I don't worry about being the best. I just want to play. I mean, he was just 12. What's he supposed to think about it? With the amount of clout and attention this kid was receiving, it was just simply impossible for him to just play ball. As a basketball society, we are always trying to do that one thing, and that is to find the next big thing. And in 2011, this was it. His father knew the attention was going to come in very fast and he said this in an interview. We know what's in store, the attention and everything. We're prepared. If you don't believe the hype just yet, just keep listening and watching because we are just getting started. When John Wall was entering the 2010 NBA draft, someone asked him about this guy and he said this. The kid was unguardable. I knew right away he was a star. I just wanted him to continue to work hard. And this is when the John Wall comparison really started to come into play because of that statement and people started comparing him to John Wall. At AAU tournaments, a lot of people didn't even believe he was really 12 after they saw him play. And it wasn't because he was tall, it was because his game was that good. So you already know, his parents literally had to carry his birth certificate to every tournament and game. His mom even said, they think he's an old midget. People just can't believe it. The attention he gets amazes me. As you guys may or may not know, a 12 year old cannot technically receive offers from colleges. However, this did not stop many colleges. After one of his AAU tournaments, he went to visit North Carolina State and Duke. Not only that, Washington State, Stanford, Florida, Washington, North Carolina Central, and Santa Barbara all expressed heavy interest. Even though that when he was 12, almost everybody was certain he was going to be the next great star, John Wall actually had some doubt. He stated, if you ranked me when I was 12, I'd probably be like number 200 or something, but I made it, so it's not crazy to think the opposite could happen. If you don't understand what he's saying, he's basically expressing concern about when you get listed that high at such a young age, you might not pan out. When young basketball players have been quote unquote named a phenom star or whatever you like to call them, it's actually hard for them to handle the early pressure. That's why we gotta give LeBron James some credit because from the jump he was regarded as the chosen one and he did not disappoint. We're still at the age of when he was just 12 so we have a very long way to go. For his middle school season he averaged 35 points a game. And at the Adidas Junior Phenom Camp, he dominated the best players in his class and averaged 36 points a game. And oh yeah, we can't forget to mention he broke the camp scoring record with 50 points. And this is all he had to say about his performance. I can do better. After that insane performance, Kyrie Irving took notice and said this. I was very, very impressed with Damon. He really reminds me of me back in the day but he's just more skilled than I was back then. Before I read the rest of what Kyrie Irving said, did you guys hear that? He said he was better than him. That's how good this kid was. All right, anyways. Kyrie Irving continued. He was crossing up varsity guys like they were young guys. He's the real deal and he seems really focused. Damon Harge didn't just randomly wake up one day with this talent though. He's been grinding ever since he was 10. At the age of just 10, he was waking up at 4.30 a.m. seven days a week. He would put in a one hour workout with his father and take 6,500 shots a week. And that's the thing that really separated him from his competition because how many 10, 11, 12, 13, or any year olds 
or doing what he was doing. Also keep this in mind, he was only 5'4 and weighed 120 pounds, so it's not like he was dominating over players. He was just simply that skilled. Right before he turned 13, he actually started playing varsity basketball against many 19 and 20 year olds. His dad actually asked him what he wanted to do. Does he just want to be a regular basketball player in high school? And he actually told his dad, Dad, I want to be the next OJ Mayo. OJ Mayo didn't necessarily pan out, but at the time when he was asked that question, he was one of the best point guards. And now this is when even more hype and clout come into play because the YouTube views started to absolutely pour in. Once Hoop Mixtape Company started posting videos on this guy, they were easily getting millions of views. And this was actually rare for back in the day because a guy who filmed one of his videos said this, I never done videos of anyone younger than high school before so I didn't take him too seriously. Also later adding in the interview, after the first few minutes of his workout, I was blown away. His skills were unbelievable and his work ethic was even better. Heading into middle school, he actually went to a sponsored Scouts Focus Elite 80 camp where he put up 11 points per game while playing with varsity guys. That doesn't seem like a great number, but keep in mind he was in middle school averaging 11 a game against varsity competition. That's extremely good. With all this being said, heading into 7th grade, the expectations were astronomical. He started out playing on the varsity level as a 7th grader and actually thrived averaging 22 points a game as a 7th grader. I'm sorry, I can't emphasize that enough. That is extremely impressive. For his 8th grade year, there's not really too much to talk about because it was pretty much the same. He put up very similar numbers as he did when he was a 7th grader. Things were really looking great for this guy, but now heading into his freshman year, this would be his third year on varsity, so teams knew what to expect from this guy. And now this is when our story takes a drastic turn. His freshman year, his points per game dropped to 10.4, and like I said, a main reason for that is because teams really started to focus on him. To go along with his points, he did throw in 3.6 assists per game. He was still just a freshman though, so people wasn't really thinking too much about this bad year. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a bad year, but for his standards, it was a bad year. For his sophomore season, he jumped his points per game back up to 14.3 and also jumped his assists per game back up to 4.4. But for a kid who was regarded as the number one player all throughout middle school, this is when people were like, yo, is he about to be a bust? 14 points per game is good, don't get me wrong. But when you were doing what he was doing at such a young age, that is a huge fall off. Remember, he averaged 35 points per game as a middle schooler, so this is a pretty big difference in points. So heading into his junior season, he really needed to show up and show out because people were starting to question this guy. And he didn't have a bad year, it just wasn't up to the expectations that we all thought it would be. His stats were the same as his sophomore year, so there's not too much to be said about it. People weren't freaking out right away though because he was just a junior, he's had a couple bad seasons, for his senior year, he's gonna show up. And yeah, this is where things really get bad. His senior year just was not good at all. In 33 games played, he only averaged 7.5 points per game. A main and huge part for this is because every year and as he started to get older, his game really didn't progress and people knew what to expect out of him. Teams were really game planning for him and his moves and they were making him the main focus. Keep in mind, he was playing varsity ever since he was in 7th grade, so the teams he kept seeing and playing over and over, they knew what to expect. With his high school career being basically a slow decline, he wound up retaining a 3 star ranking. Even though he declined, he still had many colleges that were very interested in him. Damon Harge wound up deciding to play his college basketball at Texas Southern. According to 24-7 Sports, he actually chose his school over DePaul, Memphis, North Carolina Central, Texas Tech, and Pacific. And well, let's just say this didn't turn out too good for him. Long story short, he wound up transferring away from Texas Summer to go to a community college known as North Platte. Now I hope I'm saying that right, it's either North Platte or North Platte, anyways, y'all get the point. And currently right now, that is where he's at playing his basketball career. And in the season that just happened, in 16 games played, he averaged 7.9 points per game. He wound up shooting 35% from the field and 33% behind the arc. 
and he also pitched in 3.4 assists per game. So that's a pretty decent season. However, for a guy who was regarded as the number one player for multiple years and just the hype and attention he was receiving, this has got to be one of the biggest fall offs in history. He went from a number one player to community college. Just let that sink in. I'm wishing him and his family the best of luck and I hope his basketball career or whatever career he decides, it works out for him. Damon Harge went from a basketball phenom and a YouTube sensation averaging over millions of views and also being named the number one player to a community college for basketball. But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.